guys, this is Gavin from Gavin's Club! How are you guys today? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Kodi 16.1 Java's on your PC. Okay, today's date is February 13, 2017. And let's begin. So, once you go here, this is a page that when you go into Google, it says you'll go to Kodi.com and it'll come right up to here. Now, you do not you do not want to go to current release Kodi.70 Krypton. Now, I understand this one does officially support Windows 10. But the reason why we don't want this is because the build that we are going to use for Kodi, the build that we are going to use for Kodi, and show you how to install, the, have, does not support Kodi 17.0 Krypton. The developers have not updated to support it, so we don't want that. We also don't want 8, alright, alright. We don't want 18.0 Lena Early Access, because half of the stuff don't work. Alright. If you would like to try 17.0 Krypton on your, on your own, and see if it works, go ahead, see if it works. Let me know, but in this video, I'm not going to do it. Once you go here, you don't want to go to older releases, older releases. And then once you go to older releases, you don't want to go to WIN32. WIN32 Win is a, a program for a zip file. So we are going through that zip file, the Win32 zip file, on this website. You don't want anything that says 17.1. You don't want to go to Kodi 16.java ESE. Do not go to PDB. Why don't go to PDB? Is because PDD is not the application. It's not the application. It is a beta. That is the beta for 16.1. You want the full thing. You want the full application. So you don't want to go to EXE. What this click on EXE is a come up down underneath of your web browser. If you use Google Chrome, it's gonna look exactly like that. If you're using Firefox, Internet Explorer, whatever Chrome Whatever internet browser you're using, find out where is your, find out where the download is, find the download, and we're going to install it. I'm not going to cut out anything out of this. I'm going to do it step by step on how to do it so I don't lose you. You don't want to, once you get this, just click yes. Once you click yes, is click next. Hey, agree. You don't want to get all of this, all of this stuff you do need. Click next. Click next. Do not create a shortcut. You do want, you want a shortcut. If you don't want one, click one. Don't. Name what you want to name it. I'm naming it Cody. Install. This is gonna take a little bit. I'm not going to cut this out. I'm not nothing. I'm going step by step on how to do it. Exactly how it you see it done here is what it should see like this. Now, let's talk about equipment, things you're going to need to get this build on your PC. First off, you don't need to have a PC that has internet access. Or, as well, you are also going to need a mobile hotspot with a, with a data pan that have at least 
75 megabytes of data on this as well. The reason why you want to do that is because you can download Cody on your phone, on your tablet, on anything that has internet. But the build that we are using, your provider is blocking the IPS or the IPS or URL. They are blocking the URL. Shorten and they blocking the URL, but most the officially names the IPS. They are blocking that IPS's, so you cannot enter it into the database. You cannot enter it, enter it, and use it because Cody is not. It's legal. It's an open source. You can watch movies, TV shows, live TV, and because your provider. Is also a cable company. They don't want people to install these builds, these these builds into Cody and get live TV, get TV shows, because that means they are losing customers. Customers will then cancel cable, cancel cable, and these companies will lose money. So they want to make sure that they don't lose money, so they block the IPS name or URL or web or the web that website. They block that URL slash website, so you cannot get it, so you can't do it. But there is a way around it, and the way around it is using a mobile hotspot. I right? mobile hotspot. It's very hard to block any IPSs. Why? Because you're using satellite. Your phones are using towers and satellite. Hotspot is using towers and satellite. If you have single in your house and you can get a mobile hotspot, go ahead and do it. That would be better. So what we're doing is we bypassing this. Okay, we can install Cody. We can install Cody. But once we put that URL in, it's not going to work on your router unless you use a VPN. If you don't want to use a VPN. The best way around it is use a mobile hotspot. Mobile hotspot is a great thing, great thing to do. Use a mobile hotspot. We just taking a back cut. We taking a back court. We going around it. We are. We are. We are going around your provider. It's legal. You don't need your provider. If you're paying for a mobile hotspot, you can use it. In my case, I am. But I have a mobile hotspot through an iPad. So I'm going to go through the iPad and hook up the mobile hotspot. Okay. All you want to do, once you enter, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Once you enter the URL and you install the zip file and you install the hard box 2 and you and you have and you make the skin and once the skin is built and everything is loaded you can take your you can take it off your mobile hotspot and you can turn it on your router they're not blocking it. They're not blocking it. They only they only blocking that URL in the file. That's only. So you use a mobile hotspot to get around it. Once you go here, if you want to run Cody right away, click that box. If not, the finish. I'm gonna click a box finish. All right. This URL, I am going to put this URL in the description box below, so it's easier to find it for my viewers. Okay, if you ha if you didn't create a shortcut like I didn't, okay, beyond Windows 10, just click right here. Most used, it'll say Cody, but if it's not Cody, you don't want to go down to Cody, and you don't want to click Cody. You can also visit Cody online. This I want to click on Cody is a load 
Uh, it'll take a little time to load at first. Don't be shocked if it don't pop up right away. Just wait. Eventually, it's all pop up. Load right onto your screen. It is. Okay. See? It's popping. This is default Cody. This is how every Cody 16.1 Java looks like. On your PC, on your phone, on your Fire Stick, anything is going to look like this. Okay. Once you load this up, at this point is the time that you want to. At this point is the time that you want to put on your mobile hotspot. This time is the time that you want to put on your mobile hotspot. You don't want to switch to. Your mobile hotspot, okay. At this, if you have a password, this is the time that you want to enter the password for your mobile hotspot, okay. Make sure it's right. Once you're down there, once you connect your computer or your device to a mobile hotspot, if you have a Fire Stick. A computer. If you're already on the phone, you don't have to worry about it. Just make sure you're disconnected from Wi Fi. Okay? Just make sure. Connected, secure. Just make sure that you are connected to your mobile hotspot. So, in case, just go to an internet browser, click on an open page see if it comes up which it does so just to make sure that your your computer has make sure your computer connects to the mobile hotspot and working this click up just open up your internet browser once you go here and you connect it to a mobile hotspot is where most of your work is done up so you don't go to system all the way to the end go to system you don't want to go to File Manager. Once here, you don't want to hit Open Source. Okay. You want to click on Open Source. Okay. When you double click on Open Source, double click on Open Source. And when it says enter the path or browser for the media location, you don't want to click on H, type in HTTP semicolon, no, semicolon, forward slash, forward slash, S P I N Z T V repo dot com. Whoops. So you want to go follow me. You don't want to click on HTTP semicolon slash slash S P I N Z T V repo dot com. Once you've done that, click down. When you don't want to click on Internet Source, you do not have to do it to make everything neat. You don't want to click on dot. Click on dot S P I N Z. Once you've done that, you don't want to click on OK. You don't want to click on OK. Now, if you want to make sure it works, if you go up to here, if it works, you have to click OK. Once that, it'll, it'll pop right here. Now, if you're using your router or your, your router that you have in your house on your mobile hotspot, you are not going, if you hit OK, it won't go through. Okay? Once you're done here, you don't want to hit Escape on your keypad. You don't want to go to System. You don't want to go to Settings. You want to go to Add-on. Once you, now, you don't want to hit OK. You don't want to install from Zip. And where it says Spins TV, you don't want to, you want to click on that, 
And you know what? Go down to this one right here. It says repository dot spins TV zero point one one zip. You just want to click on that. You just don't want to wait where you where you see that spins TV. Once you hear that pop up, you're good to go. Once you're done, once you once you out of here. You want to go to programs. Once you go down to programs, you don't want to click on these two little dots. Whoop, nope, my bad. You want to click on get more. Once you go to click more, you don't want to go to Spins TV. Now, I'm going to back out to where. So, I'm going to go right from the beginning so you guys can follow. Once you go to System File Manager, once you add that source, HTTP, simon colon, slash, slash, spins to repo.com, make sure exactly how I typed it in, you type it in, then when it says media source, type in dot spins. Once you've done that, go to system, settings, add-ons. Once you go to add-ons, It'll give you two little dots like this, or get more, go to click more. Alright, if you need to pause the video and get caught up, feel free to do that. But everybody, alright, now let's resume. You don't want to click on Spins TV. You don't want to click on Install. You know, install it. This is all the process. It's a roughly quick process. Well, it takes a little time. At the beginning, it'll go quick. You know, download it. I'm not cutting anything out, guys. Exactly how long it's taking me is going to take you. Okay. So we just all we uh, let's, we just all wait until. It's download. This this is going to take. This does take a little bit of time to download. But I'm not cut. I'm not cutting anything out. I'm not cutting anything out. We just all wait. This part does take a little bit of time to do. But exactly how long it takes me to take you. All right. So once it's done, it'll look like this. Thank you for being a part of Spend TV. As many of you have noticed, our Facebook page has disappeared. Okay. In my last video, I showed you the page of the Cody page. Well, Spend TV has their own page and is now on Google Plus, and the URL is right here. Okay. All you don't want to go to is click dismiss. Once you click able, you don't want to click on build menu. Once you click on build menu, wait for this thing to load. Just wait for this thing to load. So take a little bit of time to load. Just be patient. Once you're down here, a lot of people, once you go right here, you kind of get your, kind of get confused, kind of get confused, okay? Do not go to Krypton Bills. Now, Spins TV, Spins TV does have some Krypton 17.0, but they don't really work. Don't worry about Krypton 7. You don't want to go to Java Build. Once you go to Java Builds, once you go to Java Builds, here is all the different Spins TV builds. We don't want to go to Java Builds. We don't go to want to go to 16.1 Spins TV Hard Knocks right here. You don't want to click on this 2.5. Now, yes, this Hard Knock Krypton. Reason why this. If there is a build, but this build is not fully supported by 
Cody is not fully supported by Krypton yet. This one is. You just want to click on that build. It does say working. You don't want to wait for it to load. Don't do anything. Just wait for it to work. It is working. Working. Once that says working. Now. A lot of people get confused here as well. The last two spots were very critical. Okay. You don't want to go to a fresh install. You don't want a standard install. Don't. You don't want a fresh install. You want this to be a fresh install. You don't want to click on fresh install. Okay. Once you click on that. Don't just click clicking. Once you click on it, it will come up. You don't want to go to, do you wish to restore your Cody Christopher You don't want to click on continue. Okay. Spin TV is a load. It's loading. Be patient. Be patient. Okay. Your current setup for Cody has been cleared. Now you will reinstall Spin TV. Hit OK. Once you click on OK, you don't want to click on Yes Install. Okay. This is all install. This again takes some time. This process takes a little bit of time. Once you've done this process, this will be easy as peasy. As long as you're using all this, half, all this stuff I showed you, from entering the URL, from installing the zip, and to going to find the program, to finding the right Spence TV, to installing it, then going to press install, it all has to be on a mobile hotspot. If at any point, of this operation, you change it back to your router is when you're going to fall into some trouble. You are going to fall into some trouble. You want to install it exactly how I did. From the time that you open up Cody until the end, all has to be on the mobile hotspot. Once you're done installing, once you're done, you can then change it back to your router. But until then, it has to be on a mobile hotspot. Now, I'm not cutting anything out, because I want to show you exactly how long it takes from step by step. Now, if you haven't seen my other videos on Spins TV, I have done a video on that as well. I talked about how it looks, how to work it, talked about the best IPTV, and then the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, I'm going to show you how you can install it on your mobile phone. The same way how we install it, the same way we install it on your PC is how you install it on your phone. But getting the Kodi application is different. It's different. So we're waiting until this installs. It's installing Spend TV Hard Knot 2.5. There's no error. If there is an error, just annoy it. File size doesn't matter. 
Just wait until this process. This is probably going to be the long, well, this is probably going to be one of your longest process on how to do it. But I'm not cutting anything out. I'm exactly how to do it. And you can get Cody on the following devices. You can get on a PC, like I'm showing you how to do now. You can get on a mobile mobile phone. It has to be an Android phone, and you have to be running 4.0 Jelly Bean for the work. You can get on a Fire TV. You can get on the Fire Stick. But you. Same exact way. But the process of getting Cody the application is different from every device. But the process on how to get the build is the same. Same process from device to the device. The only thing different from device to device is how you can get Cody. It is taking a little bit of time now. I don't have a camera to record the fire stick specifically, but I am going to make a video on how you can install Cody on your fire stick. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. No, this is going to take a little time, and it's only on 33%, but it does take some time. Just be patient. Now, the best live TV, it is going to be CC Cloud for you. The best IP TV that is free through this application is going to be CC Cloud. The best source to get your TV shows, your your movies, your TV shows and movies is going to be from it's through Exodus. Exodus is going to be your setting best system, your best situation for TV and movies. Now, finding TV shows and finding movies on Exeus through this build is totally different. So once I show people how to install it, and people follow along how I'm installing it, and install it on your phone, and talk about it through the fire, and talk about how talk about how to install it on your fire stick. Once I've done that, then I'll talk about how what's the best and easiest way to find TV shows and movies through Exodus. Okay. Every Monday there will be a Cody video up. So every Monday expect to have a Cody video. Okay. Next week, I'm going to do a video on how you can install it on your mobile phone. Next week will be how to install it on your mobile Android phone. After that, I'll talk, then the next video will be talking about how you can get Cody on your Fire Stick. How you can get it. Now, I'm going to talk about it, how to get it on your Fire Stick, but there's actually a video I'll also put in the description below. Who explains step by step like how I'm doing it on here. And then once I'm done that, yeah. Alright. But if I if I talk about how to do it, 
if I talk about how to find movies and how to find TV shows through Etsy at first, before you know how to install it, it'd be pointless. So that's why we're doing it this way. Okay. Once I install it, show you how to install it, how to find stuff, we're always, all my videos on how to find stuff will be directly through the PC application. But the same exact way how to find stuff on here, is the same exact way you can find it on all your other devices. So all we are doing right now is we are waiting. We are waiting. We are waiting. Okay. This part does take one of the longest parts to complete. Okay. This does take, this is the longest part. The next part is probably the set longest, but this is the longest part in this effort, in this process. Okay, once you are done, it says to save the standards, you need to force Cody, to force close Cody, press OK, and force it. So all you want to do on this situation, you don't want to hit OK. Once OK, Cody is going to be disappeared. All you want to do after that is go back to the Cody and relaunch Cody application on your device. Wait for it to load. Still in this stage, you still want to use a mobile hotspot. You do not want to change it back to your router just yet. Okay. As I say, hard knock, thank you for downloading and installing hard knocks build. And let's give you a little bit. Okay. You're still going to wait. You're still going to wait a little bit. Because what we are waiting, what we're we waiting for, is we're waiting for all this stuff. Okay. If you start seeing pop-ups, like error pop-ups, any kind of pop-ups, don't worry. Okay. You just don't want to wait. Okay. Is this loading it up? Okay. It says scan shortcuts building menu is now building your menu. The menu that goes right across here is building. Just wait until it finishes building. So building. And if I wait for it to build, don't have to do anything. Once it says a hundred, don't freak out if you don't see anything. Alright. Alright. This closing. This wait. Once. This wait. Now, not all the time, not all the time you see stuff across the movies. Um, a lot of times, the bar across the movies doesn't always show up, but sometimes it does. Okay. Okay, you'll see the photo. Everything is still loading. Okay. Everything is still loading. Okay. 
Let's wait. Let's wait. And it's gonna pop up. This is a good sign. It's loading. Okay. This is how the first look. It's loading. Stop loading. Okay. That's the first time it is gonna take a little bit of time to show up your TV shows. To show up here. Show up here. It's awaiting me. To install this program, it's not just clicking them in. It's awaiting me. You have to find an application. You have to download the application. You have to do everything it said. Okay, this way, this way, this way. Okay. Now at this time, once you have this build at this time, the the speed up the process, because you're getting a little bit of speeds. At this time, if you want to, you can change it back to your regular Wi-Fi, and at this time, you can shut off your mobile hotspot, okay, and at this time, you can change it right back up to your mobile hotspot. Now, the menu is going to depend on how, how fast your internet speeds are, okay, but well, we are back here. Um, we bypass the internet, we bypass the IPC, we bypass the URL, we bypass everything. We are just waiting for that bar to come up. Okay. Now that bar does take some time to come up. Eventually, it will come up. 